Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 169 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we are looking at spam prevention, and specifically the Honeypot module. Um, as your site grows and you become more famous and get more visitors, you inevitably are going to be hit with spam comments, spam user accounts, and pretty much everything else. So unless you're interested in cheap Louis Vuitton handbags, um, the Honeypot module is a good resource to get rid of spam comments. Uh, before we jump into the module and show you how to set it up, uh, make sure to head on over to CodeKarate.com and then once you're there, check out the ebook, check out our other posts, um, interact with us in any way. Um, also, you can check us out on Twitter, uh, Google+, all kinds of places, so make sure to interact. Alright, let's get started. So, the Honeypot module here on Drupal. Um, basically, how the Honeypot module works is it adds an invisible field to any form that you specify. And as a user, you don't see this field, so you won't fill it in. But a, a bot basically doesn't uh, see the form, right? So it fills it in. And then once that field has in, any information inside of it, it automatically is spammed or caught as spam and then not posted to your site. So that's how the Honeypot module works. And setting it up is actually even easier than that. So go ahead and download it. Um, we're using the 7 version of this. It does have an 8 version already out, so that's nice. Um, pretty widely used here with 35,500 uh, installs. So anyway, let's get the module installed here. Oops. There it is. We're just enabling it. Once it gets enabled, you can then go over here and configure. And then we'll kind of work through the configuration page, and that's about it for the Honeypot module. So you can do a default protect all forms. Um, that's it's kind of what it sounds like, right? You can add the Honeypot functionality to all forms on the site. Um, don't necessarily recommend doing that. I'd recommend setting it to only ones that you specify. Um, you can obviously block submissions. Um, via honeypot so any or you can excuse me not block log the submissions um, this gets over this can get a lot in there of course if you have a lot of spam comments so not necessarily needed but you can turn it on and just end up in your reporting um, tab underneath logs um, this one's the the invi invisible field what the name of the field will be um, you can leave a default URL um, sometimes you can change it to say home page and basically, that's just what the bot will see. It'll see a field called home page, and then it'll obviously want to add a home page element to that, but we're actually tricking it. So I'll leave, I'll leave it at home page for the example. Um, Honeypot time limit. This one's actually kind of an interesting feature as well with Honeypot. Is it basically says if you load a page and you submit the form within, as specified here, five seconds, we're automatically going to think that's spam and not let that comment go through. Um, so you can set this time to um, zero to say don't worry about that or you can set it to go higher or lower and five seconds seems to be a good um, general rule so then here below is all of the forms that you can individually enable the honeypot to work with um, some of the ones that we recommend would be user registration form that would eliminate spam accounts um, any form that you get uh, that goes outside of your site, right? So the contact forms, um, and then the big one would be comment forms. So I always would check all the comment forms. So anything that you allow users to comment on is very likely to get spam comments. So eliminating those um, will cut down your amount by a ton. Um, this note forms, I kind of skipped over that. The reason note form isn't that relevant is because you don't typically give um, access for users to create nodes on your site so it's not usually relevant to use the honeypot module on that and that's the other reason why I said don't necessarily do it on all forms because it's very much wasted um, functionality so this is what I'm gonna get the contact form to here um, so these are the ones that I would say by default I would use again just the user registration forms any other generic contact forms you might have and then comment forms as well so we can go ahead and save that configuration and that's it. So the Honeypot module is now enabled on the, these forms that I set. And again, the 
form field to you, the end user is going to be hidden, so you're not going to see any difference with your comment forms or either one of your users. But to a bot, they're going to see a hidden field in there and they're going to attempt to fill that form in. All right, guys, well, that's it for the Honeypot module. Um, make sure to check out, I'll have a blog post coming out here shortly as well, detailing how we use the Honeypot module at CodeKarate.com and the success and, success and issues that we had um, using that as well. All right, until next time, see ya.